General Dempsey uh, is the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That's the highest military position in our country. So whenever President Obama is meeting, you know, he's right with him about any military decisions. Uh, uh, General Dempsey is a graduate of, of the West Point in 1974. He also has his master's from Duke in English. Uh, he's been a good friend. Again, we, we've had some really good people talk to us, but not anyone better than him. Marty, thanks. Well, thanks, Coach. I, I might be some better speakers, but I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, first of all, it's good to be back, and it's good to see some of you. I try to get down here at least once a year, so some of you are familiar to me. Andre, it's good to see you back. And for the, for the newcomers, congratulations on wearing the uniform of Duke University. I, you know, you're, you're playing ball for the guy who knows more about basketball than anybody in the country. So I'm going to spare you my particular thoughts about man-to-man -man defense. What I will tell you is that while you're sitting here right now, someplace in Afghanistan, there's a kid about your age who's responsible for 12 soldiers and he's taking them out the gate and they're walking uh, off into a, a, a key leader engagement or they're going to try to pick up a member of the Taliban or they're, or they're going out maybe to, to help build a school. But they're out there and they've given us an incredible opportunity. They've, they've given me the opportunity to go to sporting events like this and not worry about some suicide vest blowing up in the bleachers, you know. Uh, they've given you an opportunity to be basketball players here at Duke University. And I, I guess the only thing I would suggest to you is think every once in a while, not all the time, uh, but every once in a while think about the opportunity they've given you. And then when you do encounter members of the military, tell them thanks. That's, they're not looking for much more than that, frankly. They're very proud of what they do. And it's a volunteer activity. So that. And then secondly, I don't know how you feel about uh, or what you want to do in your future, but make it, take advantage of that opportunity, you know. The U.S. military competes every minute of every day. Every, every minute of every day. And if we don't compete at the top level, then we, people die and we lose our teammates. The stakes aren't quite as high for you, but if you're not competing all the time for this coach right here, then you're not living up or taking advantage of that opportunity that you've been given. So, look, I, I'm going to be a loyal fan as I have for the for the past uh, 20, 20 years. No, I'm sorry, 30 years. I was just trying to actually reduce myself in age there momentarily. But for the past 30 years, I've been a Duke fan. I will be a Duke fan. But I hope this team in particular is something special. You have the potential to be something special, and you got the coach to help you clear the path to be something special. But I'll be watching, and I hope I get a chance to see one of your games. So thanks for the opportunity to chat with you, and I'll be watching. Thanks very much. Right. Yeah.